Jiggy cat on a damn villain spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, everyone is doing okay for today, and hopefully, everyone is staying safe inside. But with that being all out the way, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install slash find, and also as well on how to get the latest homebrew applications for your modded PlayStation Vita as well as for your modded PlayStation TV. Just like any of my other videos, we're going to go run down into the prerequisites, and anything that I will state will be in the link in the description down below. So, first things first, you just need a modded PlayStation Vita or a modded PS TV for that matter. That's already hacked in some shape or form so whether if you're using the trinity hikaku hr core hr Core who exploit as long as your ps vita or ps tv could run on sign code you're basically good to go for this method as well you could be between firmware 3.60 to 3.73 firmware i'll be using my uh, vita that is on 3.60 hikaku enzo you also need vita shell because i'm going to show you guys on how to install any of the homebrew applications for today and as well you either can use a usb charging cable or files or ftp client and as well you need a Wi-Fi connection for this process with that being all out the way what we're gonna do is go ahead and talk about where I usually get all my homebrew applications from and how I usually um you know find them and make videos for you guys to check out the latest homebrews around the scene so with that being said let's go on to the PC and check out Vita database Alrighty guys, so many that you did follow all the prerequisites I stated in the intro, what I'm going to do is showcase you the website itself where I usually get all of my homebrew applications from as well as the latest plugins for my PlayStation Vita as well as for my modded PS TV. So first things first, I do want to give credit out to the person who made Vita DB and by the way, I will have this uh, website in the link in the description down below as well as a pinned comment. So special thanks out to Rennie. Sorry, I really can't pronounce your name. I've been trying to do it all day, but you know, shouts out to you for creating a kind of a hub and a repository for the vita scene but here right now this is just a plethora of homebrew applications you can install so anything from useful tools as y'all guys know like um vita shell which is basically a file manager to stuff like pkgj which is like the free shop for the vita which was like 3ds for uh basically free shop was for 3ds and like the vita has pkgj um to showcase here uh you can see there is tons of homebrew application mini games so right now uh that's one right here and i'll show you guys on how to install exactly some of these homebrews um i covered um, basically some of these homebrews on my channel as well like mgba if you want to play a uh, Game Boy Advance game, so this is a standalone uh, application here. BG FTP, this is a system app FTP server which you can run in live area, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there's just a ton of you know homebrew applications for the Vita. So many of you guys, uh, if you are new to the Vita scene and you want to you know really experience and delve in all of the um, homebrew applications, I highly recommend you know checking out this website since you can find a ton of stuff like switch view which basically gives you a alternative uh, app launcher which kind of looks like the switch PC link uh, a discord client for PS Vita I'm not too sure how well that one works but as you can see here there's just so much stuff for you guys to try out what I'm going to do is just go ahead and teach you exactly on how to get a homebrew application and what I'll do is just choose a random game itself. So I'll actually choose the one I was messing with earlier called Hyper uh, Princess Pitch Vita. And I guess the game is from or based off the actual uh, I forgot what's that game called actually on the Vita, but there, there's something just like that. I think Penny Punching Princess, which it kind of reminds me of. But the cool thing about this website, it gives credit to the author who made this uh, VPK. It shows you the source code as well. So if I went to open new link here, you could get the source code if you wanted to compile this yourself. Um, but yeah. All you would have to do is so simple to utilize this uh, if you had a QR code you could download it like that but all you would have to do um, and in excuse me in this instance is just download the actual homebrew application VBK and just install it to your Vita which I'll show you guys on how to do that now 
Alrighty, sorry about that guys, I had to basically just get my PlayStation Vita to pop up on the left hand side of the screen, but as showcased here, you can see that I have successfully downloaded Hyper Princess Pitch Vita VPK, and what I'm going to do is show you guys on how to transfer your VPKs that you may be getting from Vita Database and how to transfer it and successfully install it to your device. So I'm already assuming that you're already on a modified console. As you can see here, you can see that I have a bunch of homebrew applications already installed on my Vita, but what I'm going to do is open up Vita Shell. I'm assuming that you already have Vita Shell installed as well for this process. If not, I will have the actual VBK to that in the link in the description down below and how to install that onto your Vita. But as showcased here, what I'm going to do, um, there's two methods on how we can transfer our files over. What I'm going to be using is just follow the FTP client since I am streaming my Vita with my uh, USB cable right now. And anytime if I try to set it to USB mode, it will freeze the screen. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit start. Make sure if you're going to be transferring with USB, which I'm not for today, just make sure that the select button is still onto USB mode just by hitting start and then just scrolling down to select button. If you're using FTP, make sure your Wi-Fi is on so um, any FTP FTB client you're using, which in the right hand corner right here, I'm about to use FileZilla um, FTB client. Make sure it's on uh, FTP and then you can hit circle. Once you know for sure that your Wi Fi is on, as well as FileZilla FTB client or whatever you have on your PC is open as well, you can go ahead and hit select on your Vita or select on your PlayStation 3 button or PS4. What you want to do is type in your uh, IP address that is showcased on the system. So, in my case, here's mine, yours will be different from me. And then I'm going to type in 1337 and then right now you can see that it found all of my um, basically directories for my PlayStation Vita. What I'm going to do is just take um, this Hyper Princess pitch file and I'm going to drop it into UX0 aka known as my memory card. Now assuming that you may be downloading multiple VBKs I may recommend for you guys to um, you know use a USB method since the file transfer rate is faster. However um, since I'm going to be using uh, my Wi-Fi connection it may take a little longer as showcased here so it basically has like 30 seconds to go but that's what I usually recommend if your guys are doing stuff in bulk or if you're transferring um, games because sometimes uh, with FTP connections it may uh, have corrupted files due to your internet speeds or maybe certain files won't transfer over but what I'm going to do now is just uh, cut the video here since it may be um, taking too long but once it's fully successfully transferred over I'm going to show you guys on how to um, check that your thing has successfully installed Alrighty, so as showcased here, you can see from my successful transfer side of things, you can see that it successfully transferred over to UX0 here. So if I just go into UX0, scroll all the way down, you can see that Hyper Princess Pitch Vita VPK is here. And what I'm going to do, since you can see the Vita on my screen in the left hand corner, I'm going to just cancel out the FTB server, go into UX0. And I'm just going to install the homebrew application just like normal. Make sure you have unsafe homebrew application um, basically ticked in uh, Hankaku settings or you won't be able to install VPKs. But what I'm doing now is just installing the VPK like normal. And I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. And then once it's fully done, I'll show you guys that the actual homebrew application will work for this process. And then let me back out real quick. You can see here that we got the new homebrew application running. And let me just go ahead and hit OK. And you can see here Hyper Princess Pitch, uh, the actual boot up screen is loading now. Not too sure. So yeah. If I be quiet for a second, you can probably hear the audio coming from my um, actual Vita system. But yeah, essentially this is how you download any homebrew application from Vita database and how to basically install it successfully. So it's not um, too difficult, it's just like any other homebrew application. But I thought it would be a cool idea and video to showcase to you guys since I always um, get common questions on where I sometimes I get my homebrew. And this is usually the website I personally use on how to get uh, my favorite homebrew applications and latest plugins. With that being all out the way for today, my name is Nagato's Revenge and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. 
Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace